When we do a lumpectomy, uh, we almost always do radiation associated with that procedure. And there are three different kinds of radiation that we can use. One is whole breast radiation, which radiates the entire chest and whole breast. Another is partial breast irradiation, which takes that same dose and focuses it right at the site where the cancer used to be, and that's a five-day treatment. And then the other option is intraoperative radiation. That means that the surgeon takes the lumpectomy, does the cancer surgery, checks the margins in the operating room, and after the lymph node is negative and after we know that the margins are negative using the margin probe, the radiation oncologist comes in and does the radiation while the patient's asleep. It's a one shot of radiation. I say one and done, to use the basketball term. And then they're finished. The radiation oncologist leaves. I close the patient back up and they're finished. So intraoperative radiation is very appealing from a patient standpoint because they go to sleep and wake up and their cancer treatment's all over other than potentially um, endocrine therapy or adjuvant chemotherapy. However, there are concerns from the physician side that the final margin status is not known at the time of the radiation. If we do intraoperative radiation, we haven't had the opportunity to have the pathologist look at the lumpectomy and to declare it negative margins. Whole breast irradiation and partial breast irradiation, the final pathology is known when we do those therapies. But IORT, we don't know for sure. And so whatever you can do to ensure that the margins are negative during the procedure, that's going to lower your chances of having to go back after IORT and convert to whole breast irradiation. radiation.